hello lovelies you're welcome to my channel so i want to thank all my subscribers thank you so much for being here and to my newbies please do subscribe thank you so today we'll be making a layered ruffle for a six year old it's a girly dress so i've already cut out the circles for the lining and for the the doll face now, if you don't have any idea how to cut a 360 degree flay, I have a tutorial on my channel so you can quickly watch that so you will know what we are doing here. So I've cut the circles for the doll face and for the lining and I've already sewn the top part, you know, for the lace and for lining and to make the ruffle, we we'll need this organza okay so we'll be cutting it like circles and we'll need this crindle line so to give it some bounce we'll, we'll add this hard knit to the lining okay so now for the circles i just need to slash it from any ankle from any part of it you can just slash it open this will help to insert the zipper okay at the middle back same with the doll face just slash it open but make sure that it is straight so now you just cut it open so to make the ruffles i'll be using this organza so the length of this circle so the length of the doll face is 21 inches. Now let, let's take it that we we'll use half inch to hem and half inch to attach it to the upper bodies. So we are left with 20. So I can make the length of these circles. The circles I'll be using for the ruffles to be like 15 inches. Okay. Because you point you make it the length of of the circle and whatever is left will become the ruffles we'll get into that very soon so you measure just like you want to cut a 360 degree flay so you measure 15 inches here 15 inches mark that and fold that then you fold it like into four again and ensure that it is 15 inches okay so I folded it into four you know you will need to take your time because this fabric is very light and so you need to be careful so I have pinned it down and I have 15 inches as my length here so I'll just make a circle from this ankle, I'm just marking 15 inches to create air to create an arc. So when you're done creating the arc, you use your scissors and cut it and cut it out. And there you have your circle. See, so you just remove your pins, and this is it. this our circle so i'll go ahead and use this and replicate other ones make more of this you can use as many as you want depends on how full you want the ruffles to be and when i'm done with making all the circles i'll use the crinoline line to hem the the edges so i made several circles and i've attached the crindle line to the circles and this is what it looks like now i've made about four of it so, so at this point i'll bring my circle you know the one that we slashed and i'll locate the midpoint of this skirt part locate the midpoint and notch and I'll bring one of these circles like this and I'll measure the length of it. It has to be up to the length of this. 
now remember the hem you i will interlock and use half inch to fold so so you can make it even longer than the flay and then you bring it like so make it straight and then you fold it so whatever excess you have will become our ruffles so when you bring it to this midpoint and ensure that you have the length that you desire you will pin you do that to all the circles that you have until you have the desired ruffles that you want so you can just press them out evenly or you just use your discretion to just bring them all in so that's what you do to all the circles okay Get the desired length like so bring it here and whatever excess you have that becomes our ruffles like that now this is what you'll be sewing to the waist you can extend it like this you can extend it like this when you're sewing so it depends on how many circles you want so that's what you will do so to give me that ball gown effect i bought this hat net about two yards okay so i'll fold it into two so i fold it into two like this and I'll, I'll need to cut it open from this end. Use one part of it and divide it into three again. That will be about, because dividing this into two, that gives me um, 36 inches for one part. So if I fold it into two, that will be about 12 inches. And then I'll pleat it, I'll pleat it around the lining to give me some volume, okay, on the skirt part. Of of the dress this is how the ruffles looks like hope you can see it this is how it looks like I'm done with the skirt part of the gown now so the next thing I will join I'll get the midpoint of the skirt to meet the midpoint of the blouse part and then I'll sew it to the back and insert the zipper I'll do the same thing to the lining this is the skirt part of the lining i said i'll be adding this hard net to it i've not ironed it yet i'll need to iron that so this is how it looks and this will come under just to give it some volume okay so this is the upper part for the lining so i'll get the midpoint here like this notch the middle and equally notch the, the middle of the of the lining and attach it to the skirt part is a lining i will use to turn turn the main fabric more like an inseam finishing okay so when i'm done with that i'll bring it back for us to see this is how the ruffles look like let me know what you think in the comment section and if this video provides any value for you at all, please like, share, and comment. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.